Hello everyone and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. This is part two. So, in the last part we just got baptized by the crazy person, or the crazy priest I guess, to get access to the city of Columbia. So I'm going to stop for a second and take a look at these three statues, which will show up, well not, not them particularly, but what they represent will show up a lot in this game. So let's start off with Father Franklin, obviously Benjamin Franklin. Um, he's holding a big key, which essentially will represent, or represent, does represent, sorry, um, unlocking the future, you know, like science, uh, having, you know, discoveries like that, because he used a key to, uh, in his famous experiment of electricity and blah, blah, blah. And then over here, Father Jefferson, he has the scroll, and what the scroll represents is a sort of um, set of ideals. Uh, it's it's good to have a belief system, and that's what the scroll represents. Father Washington, George Washington, is holding a big sword, and that's to uphold the law, uphold yourself and your own ideals, and that kind of stuff. So basically, it's security. And these people are obviously in love with Washington. Our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. Another thing you're going to want to do, is, aside from getting a, uh, who crossed the Delaware, aside from getting silver eagles, is knowing what food actually days. gives you health and which ones take it away. So things like alcohol, I'm pretty sure, take health away, no but give you more salts, Just cause the which city will come in later. I think that's fair share of fools. All right, still got a girl to find. So this is the first time that Columbia is shown, and as you can see, damn, it is gorgeous. So at first glance, this doesn't even really look like a Bioshock game, does it? At least not, not in the way that the first game would have made it. So what that guy just referenced, he brought up the name Sol, uh, Solstom, or yeah, which is the name of one of the people in the demo of Bioshock. I'm pretty sure it's the 2010 demo, and uh, he never actually made it into the final game. Looks like there's gonna be a raffle today. Okay, no, nothing. Trying to pick her up. Nothing. Great vision. Sodom, there's that word again. I'm trying to refrain really from talking because this game is just, it's 
gorgeous. I mean, if you get a chance to play this uh, on any console, it, just stop and look around, like really. Just kind of business, listen you know. to everyone. It is just, something. it's so gorgeous. Check for any, any silver eagles over here? No. Columbia Raffle and Fair. Weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. So there it is, the key in the scroll mentioned again. Yeah, I'm not gonna give and anything. Now, back to the music. I need all those silver eagles. Silver eagles. Turn that off. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna turn it back on because I'm leaving. Get off that trash can, boy. Get off. Get, get off that trash can. You don't belong up, y'all. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. Yeah. The Girls Patriotic League. That's insane. I'm not gonna donate to that. Oh, move, planter. Here. Hey, another audio log. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out. Born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint. Until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. If you should ever leave me, though life would still go on, believe me. So this is actually pretty interesting, this um, barbershop quartet. Originally it was uh, the B sharps. B sharps present God only knows. Um, now it says Albert Fink presents God only knows. Um, but they kept the bees in there, and that's a reference to a Simpsons episode where they they make a barbershop quartet. And also, they're singing God only knows, which is a uh, a Beach Boys song, so it's a cover. And you might be asking why or how did they do that? Well, you'll find out later. Turn into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Vox Populi, now do I? Now what you just said, I Married a Vox Populi, being a character out of that, is actually a reference to a 1930, uh, 30, 40, maybe 50. Uh, one of those, and then 38, 58, 48, one of one. <laughs> I can't, I can't remember specifically, but it's called I Married a Communist. And it's a reference to that movie. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. You text. <laughs> See, like I said, there's so many references in just this, uh, just this first like mission actually and it's amazing so I'm gonna be pointing out a lot of those rather than talking but later on in the playthrough I'll I'll be talking a little bit more and if, if you actually look through all of these oh guy and a girl juggling down there and they're not there anymore just another Easter egg but anyways if you um, what was I saying yeah right if you look through all of those and uh, these little video My things that you come up to. Hello. Hi. You, uh, if you unlock them all, you'll get an achievement, which is called Sightseer, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'm not done with it, actually. I haven't found them all. Some of them are probably hidden. Jane's and Joe's to enter. You know, you gotta be somebody now. Let's see if there's any Solar Eagles. Hello there, friend. Hey, wanna give me that popcorn? 
Okay, maybe not. Hey, he's talking about Vigors up there. Which is this game's plasmid. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One yeah. And feats of ah, these things. I'm not gonna look at them. You can leave you that up to yourself. But young sir, young they are definitely worth it. Power of oh shit! You need to Sorry, my frame rate dropped. Yeah, shot. let's do it. The devil, good sir, and cast him out. These things are good for. Uh, actually getting more gold in the beginning, which, I mean, not gold, shit, uh, silver eagles, which you actually need, right there. So you don't need to do this, uh, if you're playing on, like, normal and stuff, but I'm definitely doing this for because of my heart. Oh, where could he be? Probably over there. Whoa, hold up. I missed him? There you go. Yep. Here you go, friend. And remember, if you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. Cool. See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and descent. So there's three games. There's this, and then a rifle one, and then the one I just did. And sorry, I'm just I'm doing them all because I need the gold for later. Hopefully, I get this on the first try. Yeah, look at me go. Come on, hurry up. I got more. I need 20. Oh my god. It's really screwing me up on this, isn't it? Try it again. I know on the second try there'll be actually more. Alright, there we go. That's more like it. Bring out more of them. Come on. I need eight more. There we go. Got 21, just for just for a good measure. Awesome. So we got that. And uh, let's go play the last game, actually. This guy mentions here how uh, children used to ride the skylines, and that's how the police got their hands on the uh, skyhook. So just a little history on how the skyhook was created. Let's do it, come on, come on. Let's go! This is probably my favorite gun in the entire game, the carbine. Oh, I missed her. Oh, I did. I got it. Okay. Awesome. Wow. Might actually get like 30 or something. Oh, I got 26. Good enough. You, sir, shall be richly rewarded. And I was richly rewarded. Okay, well that's the end of this part. Thanks for watching. If you liked this part, go ahead and hit it, hit it with a like button or, you know, subscribe. Do whatever you gotta do. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next part.